I'm just Jackie. Hey, beautifuls. I'm just Jackie is here. And it's a Monday evening and I'm winding my night down. But I wanted to do this video before I went to bed. And, you know, face is tired, makeup is old, but hey, I'm here and I'm gonna give it to you. So as you can see in the title, it's called Another Palette Tag. And my girl, my sister, Lori Akba from It's Lori's Life, her link is gonna be in the description box below, tagged me in her video to answer some questions, you know, from the, you know, um, it's another palette tag. So, I'm gonna be looking down at my phone, reading the questions, and then I'll give my beautifuls the answer. And let me say this before I continue. Hey girl, hey, hey Lori, thank you for tagging me. Cause this is the only second tag I've ever done. And I've been on YouTube for five years. And the first tag I did, I just did it because I saw another YouTuber do it. And she was like, well, whoever feels like doing the tag, do the tag. But this is the first time somebody actually tagged me. Ah! So let's get it, let's go. All right. It says, what was your first palette? Oh, wow, yeah. My first palette? Mm. Y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. My first true palette, I'm looking down in my drawer where I keep all my eyeshadows. Okay, my first real palette was this palette from Jalep, but I didn't pay for this. It came um it came with um as a gift with the monthly subscription I used to get from Julep. And um it was a neutral palette neutral palette and I'm trying to open it up so y'all can see oh here we go you know she old but sometimes I still pull for her and she looks like this see if it's gonna focus as you can see she's been worn out but the colors are gorgeous for perfect perfect neutral you know colors and whatnot but honestly my first true palette that I actually purchased is this Urban Decay Vice Palette. I don't know the name. All I know is Vice Palette. And it was a limited limited edition. And I had to get it. It came with a... This whole thing right here is a mirror. And these are the beautiful colors. And the palette. As you can see, I haven't done much damage to this palette. Honestly, truly, I haven't. See, this thing's gonna zoom in, I mean, focus really good. I haven't done any damage. And the crazy part was before um, I saw the tag video, I was telling Lori about this palette. And um, I was like, I was disappointed in it. But now, but I had bought this a couple of years ago, maybe, oh, probably about three years ago when I was really starting to get into makeup more and I didn't know what to do with this palette. You know, I was still a novice, you know, at applying makeup. I mean, I, I ain't no makeup artist, y'all, but I'm comfortable with doing my face, you know, so I can get the looks that I wanna get. But um, yeah, yeah, this is my first palette and um, I'm gonna try to revisit it. Maybe if y'all wanna see me do an eyeshadow request with this palette, Hit me up in the comments below. Then y'all, you guys will inspire me to try to do something with this palette again. All right. So next question is your most recent purchase. Y'all, if y'all are keeping up with I'm Just Jackie at all, period. Y'all know I'm on a no makeup buy. So I haven't bought any makeup um at all in 2017 and i definitely haven't gotten any um i haven't purchased any eyeshadows so ugh, the most recent oh the most recent eyeshadow purchase i did do i will say this i bought this in 2016 before i ended my no makeup buy and it's the um mariah carey one of the um quad palettes and the one this one is it's everything and I actually like this uh, 
palette surprisingly so that is that's my most recent purchase and y'all know when the mariah carey line came out so y'all can y'all know how long ago that's the last time i purchased the eyeshadow okay so one you regret missing out on oh oh one that i miss i regret missing out on let me tell you something my dream is I always wanted a Urban Decay, one, one of the naked palettes. And the reason why I'm missing out on it is because I just can't see myself spending that much money on an eyeshadow palette. I bought this because I think I caught it on sale or something. I, I, I can't remember. Or oh, I was just trying to be a big girl and be like, ooh, Urban Decay, I'm going to give you a palette. But anyway, um, yeah, I just... And, and maybe that's another reason why because I spent the money on this and I was kind of disappointed in it but again I ain't know how to use it I ain't know what I was you know whatever but yeah it would have to be the Urban Decay Naked uh either between Naked the first one or number three so yeah but those are my reasons why you know I'm blocking my own blessings <laughs> let's see one that makes you happy to look at ooh honestly one that makes me happy to look at is this one okay y'all see it it's my mac um palette and, and this one makes me smile because this is something that i'm creating you know i get to fill in the you know by the eyeshadow pots and filling in and as y'all can see i got like seven more to go before my palette is full and then i'll be going to the blushes you see they're empty but i do have mac blushes but i ain't trying to pop them out of the pot but next time i order some it's going to be so i can fill my pan but yeah so this one makes me smile because i was proud when i bought this and i started building my own palette so that makes me smile <laughs> let's see what else we got um one you've changed your mind about one that I changed my mind about. Okay. I don't know if you guys would consider this an eyeshadow palette. I guess you would because it's mainly um, eyeshadow palettes. Um, ooh, which one? This is a decision, y'all. Which one I changed my mind about? I'm going to go with this one. Y'all remember this palette? See if it's going to focus. The That's Hearts palette. At first, I just loved it. I was, you know, here, you know, here the colors. You know, it's mainly eyeshadows. It does have a, you know, blush or whatever. But, I don't know. I, I changed my mind about this. First, I was in love with it. And now, I changed my mind about it. I don't, I don't pull for this anymore. I don't know. Somebody give me a look to inspire me. Somebody tag me a picture with somebody using that that heart, whatever. So yeah, I changed my mind about that one. I was super excited about it first. I even did an eye look that I saw that some more loved it. I think with the palette, yeah, yeah. So I definitely changed my mind about that one. Let's see, one that surprised you. One that surprised me. Oh, okay. One that surprised me was this eyeshadow palette from Lorac. I got this mini palette. And this is it. And I used to pull for this one all the time. You can see like like maybe you can tell the colors I used to go for most often. But yeah, this one actually surprised me. The pigmentation was good. I mean, this was my first time buying something from Lorac. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happens when you watch all this YouTube and you, you know, whatever, whatever. But yeah, so this one actually surprised me. And you know what? I need to start pulling for this one again. But I don't know. The colors is giving me... I mean, I can see some autumn colors in there or whatever. So, we'll see. We'll see. But that one actually surprised me. Actually surprised me. Now, let's see. One that inspires you the most. Let me tell you something. One that inspires me the most. Y'all. Y'all. 
y'all 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 one that inspires me the most oh can i consider this a palette well we are today okay this one inspires me the most this missy lynn palette y'all yeah everybody knows about this missy lynn palette i still pull for this thing i still pull you know i put in work on this palette but not enough work obviously but i still pull for this like i definitely certain crease colors or whatever i always pull like yeah that that's my girl Th this one this one inspires me because you can get different looks with this so many different looks with the missy lynn so many okay um let's see one on your wish list one that is on my wish list okay this is the one that's on my wish list it's the urban decay heat palette i you know i've seen Lori's video on it the colors are absolutely gorgeous ah they're just just gorgeous colors honestly those colors i would use all freaking year long y'all see me glistening y'all know i'll be hot flashing please ignore um so that is one that's on my wish list the urban decay heat and my your it says your go your no fail palette like no fail like every time you pull you good y'all ready y'all ain't gonna believe it y'all ready y'all ready boom it's this ulta brand gilded gold palette okay Th like like when i'm getting ready like when i'm going out and i you know i'm gonna look like really cute or whatever Look, ignore me y'all and i want to look really cute or whatever and i and you know i already got my outfit in my head and i'm thinking about and i'm just like yeah but what if that look don't come out like you like you wanted to i never do i never do a different look i've tried you know i did a different look recently when i went out but you know and i you know because i have fancy beauty so I, I was trying some fancy but normally i will pull for my girl gilded gold and these are the colors that are in the gilded gold palette and you y'all can pretty much tell which one i dip the ones i dip into a lot it never fails me beautifuls every time i'm always happy with the looks i get from this palette so no fail okay that is my no fail all right and i want to do do I have it? I was going to do. Oh, I want to do an honorable, uh, honorably mention. You know, this is an extra, you know, extra little question. Honorably mention. I have to say. Oh, I lied to you. No, did I get this before or after? I don't know, but whatever. This is honorably. <laughs> can't mention because i can't even say it right this palette right here this urban decay full spectrum palette i can't you know what y'all might have got my one of my answers wrong but hey Lori, help me out sis did the mariah carey line come out before or after we i bought this <laughs> so it's between the mariah carey and this urban decay full spectrum that's my that's my um my recent purchase dang i can't remember because yeah but anyway y'all have seen me use this palette in a previous video i did a uh, collab look with Lori, and um but this is honorably mentioned i haven't gotten into this palette as much as i want to i really need to you know try some different eye looks you know give my beautiful some eye looks on the channel maybe I, i'm not gonna promise anything because i'm gonna be honest with you y'all i am not your eye shadow girl i'm not your eye shadow girl i like to do the highlights and the foundation keep the eyes simple whatever whatever give you a little mm, contour mm, mm, yeah yeah but um that's just that's just me that's just jackie but yeah beautifuls that is it for the eyeshadow. another palette Dang. <laughs> Another palette challenge. Is that what it's called? Y'all, I am terrible. Another palette tag uh, video. Thank you for hanging with I'm Just Jackie. But before I go, you know what I want to do? I want to tag. I want to tag a couple of people. I'm going to do something different. <laughs> I'm going to challenge. I want to 
gonna challenge one of my uh, sisters to see if she's actually gonna post something on her um you know on her from her gmail because you gotta have a gmail account in order to watch youtube videos right so first and foremost patrina <laughs> i tag you patrina i tag you okay i tag you but here's the thing you can either post it on instagram or you can post it on your um up here on your youtube you know i know you're not a video uploader but you can you can upload videos but you know so something different i'm tagging my sister patrina patrina i tag you um i want to also tag i want to also tag golly i'm trying to think uh, some other okay i want to i want to tag keisha keisha g i want to tag keisha maybe she you know she's up to it you know because i i know my sis got some a lot of new stuff recently so that would be cool to see what she's uh you know what she's rocking with um these days and let's see who else do i want to tag i want to tag one more person i'm gonna do three people you know what i want to I, I want to tag J Sparkles Makeup. I hope I said it right. J Sparkles Makeup. Dang. I, I hope I said. I hope I said it right. J Sparkles Makeup. You know who you are from from Canada. You know um, J Sparkles. So if you watch this video, I tag you. And you know what? Whoever else wants to, you know, wants to do the tag, do it. It's fun. You know, it's kind of interesting to see what people are pulling out of the archives for their eyeshadow choices and everything. Y'all, y'all know I'm just Jackie can get long-winded, baby. Let me tell y'all something. I know y'all is looking at this unit. Boo. I keep telling y'all, follow me on Instagram. You will always see the wig of the week before anybody up here on YouTube. Okay? Wig of the week. And yeah, of course, I will give my beautifuls a review very soon. You know, I like to rock it for a week or so before I actually, um, you know, give y'all my final thoughts. But I will tell you the name of her. She's called Donna. Outray Donna from wigtypes.com. And one of my sisters already said, um, did you cut the Donna into a short bob? And But here's the thing. She knows. She knows Donna's longer than this. And, but all I did was pin her up and give y'all some sultry. I'm giving y'all Jennifer Gray from um, Dirty Dancing before she got the nose job. Y'all see it? <laughs> they put baby in the corner. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Thanks for rocking with I'm Just Jackie. I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.